how you guys doing? We're going to make chilaquiles today. Uh, this uh, It's a breakfast version of it, even though it's 2.30 in, in the afternoon. So lunch, brunch, lunch, whatever you want. This is not a history lesson, so I'm not teaching in, you anything about chilaquiles, but we're just going to make them. Um, a, a classic Mexican dish, what we have here in this uh, pot right here is a broth. Um, typically a rojo or red sauce, uh, mixed with, uh, uh, chicken stock. What, uh, the, this is the poor man's version. So I'll tell you what I got going on here. If you hold one second. Old El Paso enchilada sauce. Some kind of cheap chicken broth. And really, that's it. It's uh, pretty much a half and half mix. Um, uh, it works for me. What you need is it really brothy. Uh, so we're going to steep our chips in it here soon. Uh, I do add a little bit of uh, oregano. Uh, it's not Mexican oregano. It's dollar store oregano, which is the best kind of oregano. But anyway, so we have our broth going on here. Now here's the tricky part. So we're gonna add corn chips, but you don't really know how much you need to add until you actually do it. So I had this bag left over from last nice chili killies, which was like a trial run. And so you're going to put your chips in your broth and you're going to kind of stir it around and see like, like immediately you can see if it's good. Well, if you've ever cooked before, you're going to, you're going to see if you need more or less. And so I'm stirring this around and I can immediately see we're going to need just a little bit more chips. This is just you cooking. So another handful, just a little wee handful here. You want to coat all your chips, like submerge them in the broth. Uh, and we're going to turn the heat off. I think that's good. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but you never, you never are 100% sure about anything, are you? Is anyone 100% sure about anything? I think that I think that's going to do it. Well, now what we need to do, we turn the heat off, we remove it from the heat, and now we need to let it steep. I like to get my kitchen timer out and just. Put it on the top. I know it's going to be really unbearable, but uh, we'll have to talk about something for about three minutes, you and I. So how are you doing? I admit that uh, I'm probably not doing as, as well as I have in other times. I know it's August. One of the things that I really used to love was when I was a child, during Christmas, we'd have a Christmas tree and it would be strung up with all the lights, all the ornaments, and, and the ornaments stretched back throughout generations. Like there's, you know, grandpappy's, grandpappy's like gold star, and this is your aunt Lucille's picture here in a little gilted golden frame um and it was all really 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 special but the most special part was that i would like crawl under the tree as a young wee lad and look up through the branches through history through time and space and see the 
twinkling lights and uh, feel the presence of the moment family tradition god and the universe it was a really amazing thing i hope i've just been able to like entertain you for a second well you need to go back Time's up. Okay, so at this point, the the chips have melted into a, almost a pasta like consistency in the enchilada sauce. This one's a little saucy. You can go as dry or as wet as you want, uh, but uh, this is ready to serve. We're gonna we're gonna put it on our plate and then we're gonna serve it up. You guys still there? Good. Can you see this? All right. Good. So this is our chili quiles. Uh, th this is a perfect, perfect one, one size man portion, mensch, mensch proportionnel. Uh, so there it is. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Uh, we're gonna augment it now. First thing we're gonna do is. We're gonna put some cheese on top. I might add more later. We're also gonna, uh, they call it crema. It's just sour cream. It's, there's no mystery about this, right? So, a big dog of sour cream. Always lick your spoons, yo. And then today, like you can put chicken, beef, pork, barbecue, anything you want on top of this. Today, we're doing the brunch version, so we're going to put a beautifully sunny side up egg. Chili Killies. Love you guys. Bye.